Hey, hey, let me guess. You have been searching YouTube and trying to find results on weight loss and recumbent biking. Is that right? And it landed you here because there isn't much out there on it? You know what I went ahead and did? I recorded myself recumbent biking for a week and recorded my weight loss results. Now I have tried to recumbent bike for longer than a week and something always comes up physically that stops me from continuing my my challenge to complete it at a longer period of time. So I have tried to do a 30 day challenge, but I actually acquired a knee injury and that stopped me from progressing any further with that challenge. So for this challenge, I just wanted to stick to one week, record my results before, then record my results afterwards and see what I came up with. And I'm happy to report that I did have weight loss results. So if you would like to see those, then you're gonna wanna watch this video all the way through till the end. I also have timestamps if you don't wanna watch the whole video. So here we go. One of the best things about using a recumbent bike is that I get to watch a great TV show to pass the time. Sometimes I'll just listen to music instead, but it really depends on my mood. On day one, I went ahead and watched a popular YouTuber by the name of Alex Myers, and he went over the Princess Diaries. And it was really great and funny, and it passed the time really quickly. And bonus, not only did I get to pass the time really quickly, but I did something that I felt really good about and was proud of myself for. On day two, I went ahead and watched a popular YouTuber by the name of Jamie French, and she went over one of my favorite movies called She's the Man. It was super funny and a great treat to get to watch it to pass the time. A late night workout in, as you can see here. So I'm gonna go at least 30 minutes, which is always at least two miles. So I'm just glad that even though I'm really tired, I'm having some discipline to come work out anyway. Oh, one thing that's really cool is that uh, at the level two out of 10, the tension control, and it feels like nothing now. So it's really cool to some strength in my legs so that I'm able to work out at a higher tension. Yeah. That's all. Bye. Oh, I almost dropped my phone. By day four, I was starting to get bored of watching shows to pass the time and I was looking for a little more guidance to keep me going. So I decided to start looking into different apps that I could use that may have exercises that I could follow. From my headphones here. I am about to work out on my recumbent bike again. Whoops. But today I'm going to be trying an app called FitScope. I have a free trial of it and um, I'm going to try it out and see how I like it. Um, I tried it last year when I did my recumbent bike challenge but I had injured my knee. Um, so that didn't actually work out very well. I wasn't able to finish my challenge like I wanted to. But so far I'm just going to do this week by week. This upcoming... Uh, exercise I'm about to do is not too difficult but challenging enough that I get really sweaty and my heart rate gets raised and I burn more calories so we'll see how it works out and I'll let you know if I like it or not thanks I don't know why I said thanks but I'll see you when I'm done I don't know why I said that either I don't know what I'm saying all right I'm on my bike now I need to Reset everything from my last workout. Do to do, do. Eventually it'll change. There we go. I'm going to go over here. Whoa. I get this set up. This is the FitScope app that I'm using. I'm going to try the 30 minute recumbent and let you guys know how I like it. Oh, I need to get my watch set up. So we're going to do that too. So I totally recorded this video with my phone's time lapse, so it is super fast paced, but I was not moving that fast, I assure you. 
Although since I was following the FitScope Studio app, I did move quicker than I normally would because the instructor was encouraging me to move faster and to add resistance um, to my routine. So we actually did intervals of lighter resistance and then heavier resistance or tension. And then um, we would switch that up in different intervals and it kept it really entertaining and it kept me on my toes so to speak and so I was just able to go along with it although it was definitely more challenging but I burned more calories because of it so it was awesome. So I just finished working out on the recumbent bike for 30 minutes to that FitScope video and I really liked it. It was actually pretty challenging. I worked up a lot of sweat and my heart rate was raised so I burned a lot more calories than I usually do in the 30 minute span of time. Um, the distance was about the same even though I was going faster on the bike than I normally do and I increased resistance. It was um, difficult in some parts, but overall it felt really good to it felt um, really good to have some guidance and just someone like encouraging me along and telling me what to do instead of me just riding for 30 minutes aimlessly without any direction. So um, I really enjoyed it, and um, the only part that I couldn't do was the stretches at the end um, she wanted me to stretch in my seat and I like put my leg over my other leg and I was like how are fat people supposed to do this so I could not do that part so I just rode the bike for an extra three minutes instead of doing the stretches because the bike ride would have ended at 27 minutes instead of 30 minutes so I actually didn't do any stretches but I feel fine So why is it so funny to me that the last thing I said was that I feel fine after not stretching and yet the very next day I had to take an active rest day and just go for a walk and not use my recumbent bike. So I thought that was pretty funny. On day seven, I was feeling better, so I was back on the recumbent bike, but I did not use the FitScope app on day seven as I wasn't ready for such an intense workout, so I just rode my bike for 30 minutes this day. So I decided that what would be best for me would be alternating the FitScope with the riding just for 30 minutes a day as my goal, so basically doing FitScope two to three days a week. All right, so now that you've seen the seven days on the recumbent bike, I can go ahead and show you my weight loss results for the week. So whenever I started the week, I was retaining water and I was at 229 pounds. By the end of the seven days, I weighed in at 226.6 pounds. So even though it was Thanksgiving and I indulged in some unhealthy foods, I was still totally able to lose the weight because I was incorporating exercise in with my calorie deficit. So I did maintain the calorie deficit even though it was Thanksgiving. I only ate about 1600 calories per day. So um, I think that that obviously plays a very big part in why I was able to lose the weight. And I don't think that you can necessarily lose weight just by exercising on the recumbent bike and not changing the way that you're eating. So if you're doing both, then I think that the recumbent bike can definitely help you and it can definitely be beneficial to weight loss because it is a low impact cardio. So it's really easy on your joints and on your body. Um, and it strengthens your heart muscle, strengthens um, the ligaments and muscles around your knees to make your knees stronger. Uh, recumbent biking can be great for if you have an injury like I've had. 
uh, where I've had to deal with two sprained ankles during this journey along with a knee injury from last year that acts up every once in a while. So um, just being able to fall back on the recumbent bike um, as a, you know, as a substitute. Um, so if I'm not able to go out walking, I can do my recumbent bike because I don't have to slam my feet against the ground. I can just pedal. Along with all of that, I just want to add that it's really important to incorporate some upper body workouts because uh, recumbent biking focuses so much on lower body cardio that you're not getting a full body workout unless you're um, using like resistance bands while you're doing it or like lifting um, some weights back and forth in your hands while you're working out but I suggest just getting off the bike and then doing a separate workout to work out your upper body and your core as opposed to trying to do all of that while you're also working out on the bike um, but I mean more power to you if you're great at multitasking and you aren't worried about injury I would be worried about injury personally so I like to just focus on one movement at a time so um, but yeah, I just I do want to mention that um, it is a low impact cardio and it does work only your lower body. So if you're wanting a full body workout, then you're going to want to go seek out a way to work out your upper body. That all being said, I just want to thank you so much for checking out my video. I hope that you found it helpful and encouraging to know that you can lose weight with the recumbent bike. And if you found this video helpful at all, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.